So welcome back, welcome to the example question. Now what are they going to do? They're going to give you, in this particular case, four numbers. 35%, 1 over 3, 0.36 and 5 over 33. And we have to order those numbers and they already give you this line, dot, 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 so let's say this one goes there, is less than that number, is less than that number, so the biggest number is there. So you could say this is in ascending order, if I can just write it down, in ascending order, yeah, which basically means from small to big, it gets bigger, it's increasing, okay? The opposite would be descending order, anyway. How do I approach this? Because, um, yeah, how can I compare these numbers? Now, a useful, useful thing to do is to either write them all as percentages or write them all as fractions or all as decimals. Now, my experience is, but perhaps I'm wrong, that most students prefer to write them all as decimals, okay? So let's write them all as decimals first before I can place them at the correct place. 35%. That's 35 out of 100, so that is 0 0.35, yeah? So I just write below that number 0 0.35. Then 1 over 3, as a decimal, you can even check it in your calculator if you don't know, yeah? 1 divided by 3, well that is 0 0.333, and it goes on. I'm going to put a little dot there, because it just continues with those 3s. Um, 0 0.36 is a decimal already, let's write it down anyway. 5 over 33, well, I'm going to take my calculator, 5 divided by 33, 0 0.151515, that also continues, okay. Now I've written down the decimals, now I can compare. I have to start with the smallest, I'm just going to check, really, is that the smallest, is it ascending order, yes, because the crocodile will eat the larger number, will eat the larger number, eat uh, the larger number, so the smallest number. Let's look at the place values, yeah? That's how you have to compare it. Let's take some bright pink. The units, yeah, it's a zero, a zero, a zero, a zero, yeah? So they all have zero units. So then we move one place value. I have a three, a three, a three, and a one, okay? So they are all the same, but this one is clearly the smallest then. And now be careful. Because we do not write down 0 0.151515, no, we have to write down the original number, 5 over 33. Careful with that. This is just our own, uh, for our own reference, we have to write down 5 over 33. Okay, so that one is gone, uh, let's put a, a thin line through it, and uh, then we know we've done that one. And we go, uh, and these were all threes. And then we go to the next place value, a 5, a 3, and a 6. Now which one is the smallest, a 5, 3, or a 6? Well, that is a 3, yeah? so 1 over 3 again, 1 over 3, okay? And I had a 5 and a 6, so the next one then is 35%, and the last one is 0 0.36, which is then the largest number out of these four, okay? So write them all in. Fractions, decimals, percentages, whatever you like, so you can easily compare them. However, you write down the original number, the original value they give to you in the question. Okay? I have another one for you. See you there.